Some content in this video may not be appropriate for all ages. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Lazy Gone Lily Pup. I am super lazy. You remember when I said last time I'm gonna I'm gonna record five back to back? Well I only recorded that one. And it's been a week since I recorded. Hopefully this will be able to come up on Friday. Like I'm recording this on Tuesday, three days before it's supposed to come up. But yeah. Um, we have to kill these guys because they will be a pain. Uh, as you can see, they don't stop uh, moving when they're in this. Uh, when I pull up my ink, which is interesting. But yeah, they give us demon fangs, so who cares? Um, is that actually moving? <laughs> the light is moving. I did not ever realize that. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I am super lazy. I've been so unbelievably lazy with recording. I've just been putting it off and putting it off. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Whoa, just look at those treasure chests. <laughs> oh, Isun, you just had to say chest, which rhymes with breast, and just so happens to be on the chest. We're going to be millionaires even before we find those fox rods. Okay, cool. That's a bullhorn. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. That is freaking creepy. <laughs> you can hear uh, making a la a child creepy laughing noise uh, when you hit it with a something. Oh, now this this area is super scary. Like, this this freaked me out when I was first here. But, um, so you can see this chest is a different hue, a different coloration than those chests. It's brighter. So what happens when we hit it? It comes alive and tries to kill us. Yeah, that is creepy. It apparently blows up. Did not remember that happening. blow up okay oh that looks like the spider queen whoa so this area is filled with creepy monsters okay good I didn't know if I hit it or not and look at this this does not seem like an effective way to kill so or trap someone basically what happens is when you come near them they shoot up and try to stab you but I, I don't think that's an effective way. Like you don't you don't get hit by them. <laughs> it's very easy to avoid them. And I'm setting myself up for some Ew Their shell is a fish. A dead fish. I never realized that. <laughs> oh, this area is awful. Um I almost I've been watching so much of uh Lucagen's uh, Paper Mario almost took, said I need to take out Goombari, uh, Goombella to tattle them. So once you uh, hit them, wow, I'm taking tons of hits. This is not going to be good for me. Um, once you take them out, I believe their floral finisher is powerful. Well, I guess we'll never know. Actually, their floral finisher might be one of these cards, because it's the only time you ever see them in the game. I doubt it though. <laughs> I doubt they do that. Oh gosh, this this area is probably the creepiest area in the entire game. Ugh. Stuff jumping out at you. So we got a golden gate here, which obviously means that there there's nothing going on. <laughs> this there are gonna be tons of golden gates here and there's really nothing that happens. Okay. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, you are beautiful. And yes, this is another censored part. I'm probably going to put a recap in case uh, you're a good soul and did not watch the censored parts. <laughs> Even a ship doomed by the water dragon can enjoy the starlight. I'd enjoy your starlight. But it's... See, this doesn't even make sense. I'm trying to be wrong, but it's, it's just... I'm being stupid. But it only looks like this inside the ship 
when there's a new moon. As soon as the sun comes, sun comes up, cold seawater flows floods the ship again. Yes, this ship has serviced a cruel fate. Okay, so let's see. Let's make it daytime. And water comes up. Yes, there, there are puzzles you had to do this in the area. This is basically the puzzle area. That's what you have to do. For, oh, there's a thing spot. <laughs> That's impossible. It can't be daybreak yet. Surely this can't be. I just knocked my earbud out. You didn't do this, did you, Matarasu? Your powers can control the very movement of the heavens. Yes, they can. Haven't you noticed this by now? <laughs> Look at Rao looking da down into there. He's like, ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, it's just stupid clover. Who likes clover? No one. Okay. Put a lily pad down. Way over there. Cutscene! Oh, you guys again, really? Well, eh, pretty easy. What the? Oh my gosh. So this is kind of like a mini boss. Uh, it's really cool. It's not hard at all. Uh, you can't hurt it. What the heck is it do? It's... What the heck? Okay. For a second there, I thought it was stuck. Uh, you can't... Whoops. Okay, you can't hurt it until it does that. And then you can... Slash it, I guess. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very familiar with this boss. I believe you have to get it to try to land on something that will hurt it. Like a logger? Because you can't hurt it until it's stunned. Really? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stand here. Okay. Oh, I can't hurt it. Okay. Okay. Whoa. I didn't remember this fought, uh, fight at all, so I'm kind of a little blind on this. Oh, crap. Come on. Ow. Oh. Okay, well, that can apparently hurt it. I did not remember that at all. <laughs> well, that's an easy. Pff, yeah, I sucked on that. Okay. I'm a little discombobulated now, so where do I have to go? Okay, over there. Wait, no, that's where I came from. My lily pad's there. <laughs> okay. This way. This way. And my computer's fan is going. Um, there are usually chests in here. Okay, be careful because the spikes are at level with you now. Is there a seed bag in here? I or feed bag, I believe there is. Nope, apparently not. So you do have to watch the corners now a little bit more because, but, but it's it's a pathetic way to get hurt. <laughs> oh, that's that is disgustingly creepy. Oh my gosh, those dolls! Wow. Let's come up here. And another golden gate, which means nothing is going to happen. Um, okay, that's a cannon, then. There's a lockjaw. Oh, we were in the golden gate! Ooh. Treasure. Oh, that's a stupid treasure. We don't need those. Stupid holy bones. Okay, go through it. Um, okay. 
I just heard a dog dog bark outside. Um, hmm, oh, duh, that way. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Okay, this demon's grabbing onto us. That was freaky. Here are more of them. Yeah, these, these are awful. This is an awful area. Okay, I did not set a timer, so I do not know how long I'm going to be recording for. I'm, I'm just so out of it. <laughs> Haven't recorded in a long time, so make sure you get all the stray beads in this area. I did not get them on my first uh, playthrough, and I had to come back here. And it's a long. What the heck was? Th oh my gosh! I had actually forgotten about that thing. <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Okay, where is it? I know it's gonna pop up at me. Ooh, the crystal, that's nice. That's 5,000 yen right there. Okay, you're not here. Do not like this area. Uh, um, I think that's where the hand spawns from. Or it comes from. So, I need to go this way. Ugh, I hate this area. What the? <gasps> Run! Yes, I can see that there's a barrel there, glitching through the rope. Here it comes. Power slash. Barrel! We're going to want to bring this barrel over here. Like so. There we go. Perfect. Now it will say, ba well, it's basically implying that when the water goes up, we have an easy way to get back. Now, let's get out of here before that hand has to kill us. There are two hands? I did not think that. Or does it just... Oh, gosh! Does it just move around? Okay, so basically what they want you to do... Oh, crap. Yeah, there might be two hands. Oh, come on. You have to not get hit by them. Mm, really? I am failing completely. Don't you dare... Fantastic. <gasps> thank you. Nope, not, not thank you. Here, just lift me up. Thank you. Okay, up. Okay. That was dumb. So let me just see. Are there two hands or is there just one? I thought there was only one. Um, it looks like there is only one. Oh. <laughs> Don't like this. <laughs> Um, okay. So now we want to change it to night again. <clears throat> Perfect. So now we have access to get back there. Perfect. Oh, I don't need that golden gate. <laughs> There's not even a boss in here. Spoilers, but it's it's such a lame area. It, it's it's pretty creepy. Um, it's not scary. It's creepy, but um, it disappoints me that there's no boss. And yes, the hand is right there. So, what you can do is take this spiked barrel, which I don't know why anyone has, and roll over it. Oops. Oh crap! A minute. A minute. A minute. A minute. A minute to win it. And believe it or not, get ready. 
it gives you praise for killing it. It was a suicidal monster or something? I don't know. But we have just an... Oh. <laughs> I thought it was 300. <laughs> oh. Duh. Well, that was dumb. So, we can go through here now and see what the heck this cannon thing was. That's... Um... Well, that's basically how you do... Whoops. That's a circle. This is basically how you do it. You put a cherry bomb in it, and it'll blast off and kill that one. So, you may ask, how do I get the other ones? Well, we need to tilt it down with our own weight. Okay, can I get them both all my first try? I think that's already too low. Might, maybe... Nope, perfect. Nice. So, we've got two treasure chests and a key for the lockjaw. Very good. Um, bring that up. Oh, okay. I had, I did not see those there. Oh, what? I did not hit back. Game. I did not hit my right <gasps> trigger button. Okay, fine, I'll take that. Okay, and a sun fragment. I approve. Yes! More health. Oh, it didn't even bring the key. My goal is just to try to finish this area off. Or get to a save point. I don't know if there's a save point before the end of this. So I don't know how long I've been recording for. This could be a long episode. could be... No, it's not. It's not a short episode. <laughs> um, another cursed door, and there we go. Now, oh crap! It's Crimson Helm. Crimson Helm. Oh no, that's Otochi. Duh! Get off of me! Wait, is that Otochi or Crimson Crimson Helm? I can't tell. The phone is ringing. Oh, it's scary, Miss. Durr. I'm just gonna. Okay. So the phone is ringing. Okay, so before you don't, don't touch the middle one yet. Because that is what I did, and it warps you out of here. You need to get the back one first. Because it has a stray bead in it. Which is mandatory to get if you want to get all the stray beads. So now you don't have to come back here. Unless I did miss a stray bead, but I don't think I did. Let me just let me just look at that up. Um, I know I'm I'm gonna miss have missed a lot. So, sunken ship. Okay, one of two. There we go. These are all the uh, demonic boxes. Kill that, and it's gonna give us some money. I I might as well take the money from them. I'm gonna not come back here. So, get. I'm gonna try to scare you guys as much as I can. If that opened up the box, I would have laughed so hard. Cause I, I don't know if I don't know if enemy explosions can. Oops, I don't know if enemy explosions can open up boxes. But if they can, that would be so cool. Hard to see. Now, so is there anything else in here? Want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Anything like hidden on the wall? Nope. So here we go. The lucky mallet. What is this? Finally, something interesting. Wait, this is the lucky mallet. Is this what you were looking for, babe? <laughs> it can shrink people down until they become so small they can pass through the eye of a needle. Certainly a tool with such powers is a great treasure, but it doesn't provide an answer to Queen Himiko's prayer for peace. Hmm? Someone else mentioned an eye of a needle lately. Oh yeah, it was that half-baked prophet, Waka, back in Seon City. Remember, he said something like, Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Wonder what kind of place he was talking about. Amaterasu, it seems what I was looking for isn't on this ship. Unfortunately, we must leave without it. Aw, cheer up, babe. 
The ocean's a big place. You'll find what you want somewhere. That may be so, but going into the ocean now is suicide. Well, as long as the water dragon is still ab about, that is... Sheesh, nobody can shut up about that thing. You'd think the water dragon ruled Rishima Coast or something. Well, don't forget we have boss... Wait, don't forget we have boss Ami here with us. <laughs> Let's go th uh, think we... Let's go think things over back in the city. I'm sick of this ship. Okay. Well, apparently it does not end, doesn't warp you out. I just left without get, getting all the treasures. <laughs> oh, I was stupid. But the ship fills back in. Because it's daytime. And Amaterasu is going to swim back to shore with the breastuses jiggling about. <laughs> huh? C can't you swim any faster, Amaterasu? Huh? I mean, what do you expect, babe? Ami's a wolf, not a speedboat. Oh, I get it, babe. You want to go to the bathroom, right. <laughs> we don't mind. And there's nothing but wide open sea all around. Nobody's looking. Go ahead. That's what everyone does. You don't understand. This swelling of the waves is a sign that it's coming. We'll be helpless if we're attacked here. Here we... Oh, here we go again. If it is the water dragon, what it... Um, was it? If it is, we'll take care of the beast. You know, Jiffy. It'll regret the day it messed with us. You might want to think that through, E soon. Um... What the? Where'd that thing come from? <laughs> she just hops back. Okay, so is that the water dragon? No, it's a guppy. Look out! Okay, so it is very funny when you get eaten by the water dragon. But since there's an achievement on the PS3 called no uh, pup on the menu or something, and you have to avoid it, I'm gonna show you how to avoid it. If I do get eaten, well, oh well. So you're gonna wanna make one of these and hurry back to the sea as fast as you can. Don't, don't stay and fight. If you leave a certain boundary, you will be eaten. So just keep making your way back to the sea. Okay. Do the lily pad jump and just hurry back to the uh, shore, not the sea. The water dragon uh, is still going to be on your tail until you touch that uh, shore, which is stupid because the water is going to be starting to shrink really quickly. But just hurry back. He will try to eat you. Uh, if not, game over. It's just uh, he spits you out on the shore. But there we go. It's called no water, uh, no pup on the menu or something. But um, it's phew. What the heck was that monster, Ami? Uh, that was the water dragon people were telling us about. Nobody told me something like that was on the loose around here. And what's with that busty babe? She just took off without us. Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind next time we meet. What the lucky mallet, huh? This mallet just jumped out by itself. Whoa, I hate to see treasure run off like that. After it, Ami! Come back here! So this is basically like an arrow, th one of those arrows. It's going to tell you where you need to go. Did I feed this? Okay, I did. Uh, it's going to tell you where you need to go next. Um, but as soon as we get to the area, we will be ending it off. Because this is probably a long part. I went through the entire ship in the one part. So, yes, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. We're going back to 
Poopon City. <laughs> or Fart Cloud City or something. So, thank you all for watching, or please subscribe. This has been Let's Play Okami. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.